Terrifier 3 looks to be bringing some gory horror to the holidays, but is there a chance this upcoming outing actually goes too far? Art the Clown just doesn't let up. It's been just over a year since Terrifier 2 took the horror scene by storm, making bank at the box office and inspiring a wide range of responses from enthusiasm to disgust to reported cases of vomiting and fainting. And Art's already back for more. The teaser for Terrifier 3 just dropped along with a special re-release of the second film. This time, the seemingly immortal killer clown is ready to deck the halls with bodies. Terrifier 3 was first announced back in June 2023, and given the way these movies have previously been made, on a shoestring budget, with Damien Leone serving as writer, director, and editor, it's no surprise that the sequel ended up on the fast track to release. In an exclusive interview with Slash Film, Leone shared that he was able to bring in a professional makeup team to work on the effects this time around, which made the process a lot quicker. He explained, I can focus on one thing instead of a hundred things, so that's going to be really exciting. And the other things it's going to allow me to do is shoot the movie in three months as opposed to three years. That snazzy new practical effects team's work is on display in the first teaser for the new movie, which, based on the franchise's gnarly track record, might just end up being the goriest Christmas movie ever. Christmas horror movies have become a mainstay for lots of horror fans. For example, this year we'll see the release of the It's a Wonderful Life slasher movie riff, It's a Wonderful Knife. There were also trashy classics like Silent Night, Deadly Night, and Christmas Evil. Will Terrifier 3 rise above all the other Christmas horror films we've seen so far and deliver something spectacularly gruesome for the holidays? It's too soon to say, but it's probably a safe bet. First and foremost, this is a pretty effective teaser. While this probably won't be an actual scene in the film and is more likely created specifically for this teaser, it sells the movie perfectly. It's Christmas Eve and snow is falling outside. A child awakens, hearing something or someone downstairs. What the child encounters isn't Santa, but it's Art the Clown in full Santa gear, with an axe. When we cut back to Art, he's drenched in blood. The implication is clear. Art just killed that kid. This is bound to lead some to think this is going too far. Indeed, some have taken to X, formerly known as Twitter, recently to decry this, which caused Leone to cheekily retweet the comment with the film's release date. Killing kids in horror movies is certainly a taboo, up there with killing dogs and cats, but it's clear that Leone doesn't care about pushing boundaries with these films. If I'm writing a scene like that, I imagine five steps worse that, you know, where I can go. While full plot details aren't available yet, it's safe to say that Terrifier 3 will involve Art the Clown unleashing his usual blood-soaked brand of mischief upon a group of unlucky people, most of whom will die in gruesome ways. Leone knows that he has a lot of hype to live up to. The director told Variety, There's sleepless nights sometimes where, oh my god, I can't let the fans of this franchise down. I get asked at the conventions, how are you going to top the bedroom scene? I always want to swing for the fences and try and see if I could outdo myself from the previous installment. Leone also told Bloody Disgusting to expect much more than a 20-second gimmick teaser, and the new trailer delivers with an extended glimpse of what audiences will see when Art returns. Also returning for the new installment, Lauren Lavera, whose final girl Sienna Shaw was a highlight of the second film. Lavera has become a beloved rising star on the horror scene since her turn in the sequel, and with Sienna alive at the end of Terrifier 2, some fans are anticipating her return just as much as Art's. The second Terrifier film also left us with some intriguing lore, as a spectral girl who signified Art's first victim appeared. Both Art and Sienna were resurrected, and poor Victoria seemingly birthed Art yet again in the film's mid-credits scene. Terrifier 3 may dive even deeper into the Art the Clown mythology, but there's only one thing we can guarantee about the holiday Splatterfest before we've actually seen it. Terrifier 3 will gross us out when it opens in theaters on October 25, 2024.